lovelies it's a pleasure having you all here today it's been quite some time since i posted a video i've been busy with some commitments but during this festive period i have some time on my hands and i think i should share this peanut butter soup with you how are you all doing this video was part of the peanut series and for the benefit of those who haven't watched the series, I will paste the link in the description box for your convenience. In my previous video, I used my homemade roasted peanuts to make peanut butter and Nutella. And in this episode, I will be using the peanut butter to prepare peanut butter soup. For my protein, I will be using a combination of fresh and roasted layer chicken my homemade peanut butter and you can check out the link for the peanut butter video in the description box below i've also got fresh tomatoes one scotch bonnet pepper three hippie spoonful of tomato puree one maggi shrimp tablet bay leaves and of course my natural condiments for seasoning which is a combination of glucose beans dawa dawa onions ginger garlic, rosemary, and aniseed. I have blended the condiments. Into my pot, I will add the chicken, the marinade, and salt to taste. Please be aware that the chicken is already cleaned and washed. I will also add the scotch bonnet pepper, cover the pot, and allow it to cook on a medium heat for about 15 minutes whilst I stay intermittently. I prefer to use the good old layer chicken as it does not disintegrate during the cooking process. At this stage, I will proceed to blend the peanut butter with a bit of chopped onions to give it that local flavor. Now, add water to ensure easy blending and blend till you achieve a smooth consistency. I will pour the blended mixture into a bowl and add water. At this stage, I will take the paper out and then blend it later with the tomatoes. As you can see, the chicken has absorbed most of the marinade, which is going to intensify the flavor of the chicken. It is time to form the soup with the peanut butter mixture. Add adequate water to cook the peanut butter and the chicken. Caution lovelies, you need to ensure that the peanut butter is well cooked by adding enough water, else you can experience upset stomach. There goes in the bay leaves, fresh tomato and the tomato puree. So now, I will cover the pot and leave it on fire till it starts boiling. Thank you. 
At this stage, you need to uncover the port and keep an eye, else the soup will overflow. In case the soup starts overflowing, you can scoop some of the soup, save it in a bowl and add it later. The soup has been cooking for about 7 minutes. It is time to take out the tomatoes, add the pepper, blend and pour it into the soup. The soup has been cooking for about 30 minutes. I will now add a tablespoon each of powdered shrimp and dry fish powder. This is optional, you know, you can omit it, but this really wake up the flavor. I'm going to leave it on a medium heat to cook for about 15 minutes, then our soup is all done. Another indication to tell the soup is ready is when you notice that the oil has started settling at the top. You can pair this peanut butter soup with rice, fufu, and what have you? But today I'm serving mine with rice balls alongside beans and red pepper. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you are still here with me, thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, please stay safe. God bless you and bye for now.